Chase. Okay. Where are you coming out? Go. That when I when you rate and like run in like the pushy like super shoes and then you put on a spike, it is just like oh, it's it's the hard. The thing to, is, you're also like we'll do maybe some 400s at 75, which is gonna end up being like what we run. Exactly. Like, yeah. Last on the last that's trap. Even, I honestly. That's the problem. That's like about as fast <laughs> as this this gravy train. Your, is your 10k pace? Yeah. Well, no. That's <laughs> the thing. In college, I was one speed cycle, so it's like. <laughs> My, my 5k pace is my 10k pace is my mile pace. <laughs> it's much faster than that. Molly, which shoes and spikes are you going with today in the session? Um, in the session, I'm yeah. going to be wearing um, DV8 Elite. So yeah. it's the carbon plated super shoe yeah. from Puma. Um, super critical foam. It's great. This is what I raced the marathon in. Yeah. Um, so I know a lot of people don't necessarily like like working out hmm. and then they want to save them for the race i think there's a huge benefit from working out in them yep. um your body gets used to used to that feel used to that energy return yeah sure. yeah it's and just it's, a different kind of running yeah and you might whip out the spikes if you is that just for 400s or you might yeah, yeah i i put them on less so to go fast just because right now deep in marathon training i'm not going super fast okay. um i do it more to work on mechanics because yeah. it's a the, the super shoes are a lot more forgiving. Mm. Um, and I notice that when I put on spikes, I have to be a little bit more attentive to my form. Yeah. So that's the main reason that I would, I'd put them on at the end. Okay. But yeah, we'll see if we break those out. <laughs> my shoes. Whoa. Did you wash your shoes for you? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them looking kinda nice. They were just wash shower. What? What? Showers with her shoes on. <laughs> Straight after the run. <laughs> Stand in the shower. Check my shower right now. I just washed two pairs last <laughs> No, I'll, if they're really dirty, I will scrub them. Um, I just threw these in the washing machine. Uh, I was lazy. Yeah. want to keep them looking mildly fresh. That's the problem. Everything gets like so dirty so quick. Especially white shoes. It's dangerous out here. And what's the plan for the workout today? Um, workout plan, we are doing um, six by mile, or I guess two by three by mile, as John wanted to put it. Um, starting at like closer to threshold-ish pace, like yeah. 5.15 or so, and then working down to 10K pace. So hopefully right around like 5.05, five minutes. Okay. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And then maybe some 400s on the back end. It's spicy. I heard last time you did that there was uh <laughs> you weren't feeling so great after the pause. No, uh, I have this bad habit of <laughs> my eyes are bigger than my stomach or my legs and keep look at the workout beforehand and I'm like, John, that looks so easy. Let's add four hundreds on the end. And then I really regret it when I'm six miles in. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how we'll it see goes. How go. Go. Oh, <laughs> Remember what happened with Pam? Yeah, they named the team, and then they like. Surprise everyone! Uh, uh, oh, that's even going back to the trial. It's not worth like. Yeah, I know what John wrote, but. Mm -hmm. He said we can drift faster on these if we're feeling okay. feeling okay. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, when I saw 520, I was. It was slower than I expected. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, he said on that one. Okay. It was he was training as far as like a Seven, warm up. So I'll go seventy nine, which would be five sixteen. But that'll be. Yeah. Obviously, we'll do like seventy nine and a half. <laughs> I get really forgetful and then I'm hoping that we err on the faster side of these but it's still 
we're still on pretty high mileage, so I know that 508 is gonna feel anything but easy by the end. Yeah. You've got a number of catch-up yeah. things I've in got, your... I, I literally have Are you going to take a catch-up between each mile? One, two, three, four packets of ketchup currently in my bag. Oh. Is that In-N-Out? Huh? Ketchup? No, McDonald's. Come on. McDonald's? Mickey what? D's. Fuel of Champion. I think they're a sponsor of the Olympics, so they I can are. actually promote them. Oh, my God. <laughs> I should I, I should try and convince people I actually do that. Ketchup, it's high in sugar, uh, natural acids. Um, I'm trying to think. You could. What if you just start popping them in the Just marathon? start trolling people. I was going to do that in um, the trials because I didn't think I was going to make it. So I wanted to um, take my Morton and put it into packets of Hellman, or Hellman's mayonnaise yeah. and then just rip those in the middle of the marathon to just fuck with people. That would be so funny. I'm just here for the troll. What are the laps? Uh, we're gonna do 79.3 for the first one. Yeah. And just kind of creep down a little. Yeah. All right. Starting at 79s. 79. Yeah. Okay, so John head down 520, 516, 512, three minute, 16, 12, 08. Okay. And so he said it's okay if we air a little bit faster, but hard speed limit on five minute pace. Okay, not under five. Not under five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well we'll see if we we'll see if we get there. What's the music of choice? So, I'm on Spotify, we're we're leaning rap here for sure. Okay. I know from a previous interview with Molly that she likes Abhi the Nomad. Okay. And actually, she. Um, Are you going with us on these first few? Yeah. Okay. Are you about to start? Oh yeah. Shit. <laughs> you was asking what? She uh. Message this guy uh. Instagram because she likes his music. Okay. Is she uh, a professional runner? Or? Yeah, that's Molly Seidel. She's uh, going to compete in Marathon uh, Olympics. Wow. Yeah, we get, we get a lot of the Olympics. Nice job, Joey. Good stuff. Good like shuffle, Sal. So. <laughs> 50 Cent. <laughs> Five seventeen. Five seventeen.
and now cast like big boy in three stacks. I still block like a seed back. Talk to him. About 14. Woo! Yeah. You think there's going to be similar conditions? Uh, yeah, high humidity, mid temps. Yeah. It'll be a little bit colder because we're north, but yeah, they're thinking like, I mean, it'll be more humid than this, but yeah. it's nice at least getting a little out here. Yeah. Usually it's like 15% humidity, so. Okay. I've been talking to God like that's my therapy. I'm African American in America. <laughs> How you guys feeling halfway in? Feeling good? Yeah. Now we'll step it back up a little bit. It's kind of like two sets of three. So yeah. we'll go back up to what we hit on the second one. Yeah. Then what we hit on the third one. And then we'll see where we finish. No sub fives though, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the threshold. Keep yeah. going. Okay. If that's what it is, if you gotta leave me. Fourteen high. Nice. Feeling all right? Feeling great. Yeah. Two to go. Yep. Molly's dropped me in a couple workouts this this uh, block, so happy to hang with this one. Yeah. <laughs> you get me at seven. Also doesn't mention that he wasn't able to run for twelve weeks and then immediately popped back into like twelve mile tempos. <laughs> I'm best on the track. You get yeah. me on Lake Mary sometimes. It's funny. He's always within Molly, like half a second, whatever we need. All right.
11. <laughs> One to go. One to go. Are you thinking? Unamas. Solamente Unamas. What are you thinking about the 400s? Oh, definitely gonna do them, yeah. You, you will? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling good and smooth. Today is not like a hit it out of the park day. It's kind of just practicing that faster the marathon pace while staying like really controlled and relaxed. Yep. So, we'll see what we do on this last one. <laughs> You're looking at your watch there, making sure you don't go sub five. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what she she said. Let's rip it the last 200. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, obviously making sure we we're above five because that was the hard cap her coach gave her. Yeah. Um, so 501. We were on like perfectly 505. Yeah. So easily cut four seconds in that last 400, which pretty good yeah, for a marathoner, sure. you know. Do you have any 400s you'll do? I'm not sure. This is kind of a surprise to me too. She didn't okay. tell me we were doing 400. So. Okay. She didn't want me to bring my spikes. She did. I can't let you bring your spikes. I can't keep up with that. I don't remember the last time I wore my spikes. Just watch. I'm going to go slower in these things. Flush. Oh, yeah, your shoes. Your feet. Yeah. I'm just not, I'm not tough enough for track anymore.
I actually prefer the <laughs> shorter stuff. Okay. Even though I'm an ultra runner. Okay. I like the 1500 in college though. So. These 400 repeats are a bit, uh, bit foreign to you then perhaps or? Yeah. Yeah, I like them. I, <laughs> it's tough. Like I almost feel like it would be better to go a little faster. Yeah. But yeah, I mean her last 400 was probably of that last mile. Yeah. It's probably as fast as these are faster. Yeah. He's trying to run a sub 60. Did he do it? Did he get it? He got 59. Woo! <laughs> it's on the IG, we got proof. It's on the IG, so it's official. <laughs> I was saying. Not too shabby for a 100K runner, right? I know, exactly. <laughs> From 100K to a sub 60. <laughs> I've only, I've only tried like twice, like once in high school and then once at the end of a workout up in Flagstaff. Yeah. Only succeeded once. Woo! And that was like 13 years ago in high school. Versatile. I was saying that our workouts should function like a game of scramble golf, that whoever runs the fastest lap, then we all have run that lap. <laughs> I, I like that. Team effort. Team effort. So you got the YouTube title, Molly closes workout in sub 60. Molly closes workout in 60. And then when people watch, you're actually just dancing on the side. Molly's workout gets closed in sub 60. Yeah, Molly's workout is wording. closed. Yeah. Wording is key. We don't have to specify who ran it. Yeah. By that property also, Craig is running the Olympic marathon. Yeah, yep. <laughs> See you guys in Tokyo. Got about three weeks. I'd like to think that you could beat Bridget Kotsky. I've also got all my bottles for um, stopping at the spring on the way up. Oh, yeah. Did you see that on the way down? Uh, I came from the other way. Oh, so, you yeah, did? Yeah. Oh, you just came straight up from Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. So that's what your... That's a recovery drink? Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, it's like strawberry whey, pro or <laughs> strawberry whey protein yeah. from Amentus. I like mixing it with a little bit of um, 
coconut milk. It tastes like strawberry milk. It's really okay. good. But yeah, I just try to make sure I get a little bit of protein in afterwards, especially. I know this wasn't speedy compared to milers and stuff, but yeah. this is my speed day, so. Yeah, yeah. Get a little bit in there, but. I yeah. didn't really take that much notice, but did you use anything during the session? Um, No, today I just took a little bit of a gel before. Okay. Um, for the longer stuff, like Wednesday. Yeah. Um, Wednesday I was taking stuff throughout because that was much more of like a marathon session. Yeah. Um, but this one, yeah, just no. kind of went with it. No ketchup? No ketchup. I should have ripped a ketchup packet. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Next time. <laughs>